Hey guys, my name is Carl Cunard and welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you my top five fragrances that I've been using over the summer of 2018. In no particular order, the first fragrance I want to talk to you about is Sauvage by Dior. This has to be my favourite fragrance that I've been using over summer. It's just one of those colognes that you can use any time of the day, any time of the year, it just fits every occasion. I remember being on a night out and I could just smell this scent that just drew me in and I had to find out what it was and it was Sauvage by Dior. It's just one of those addictive sensual smells that just draws you in and if you're in a room with people, it is definitely gonna capture the attention of everyone around you and you just can't go wrong with it. The only thing that's bad about this fragrance is it's so good that it's so popular that you're not gonna be the only one in the room wearing this fragrance. It's a very commercial cologne. I think every single day I walk around London, I will at least once spot a poster with Dior Sauvage on it. So, as much as it's an amazing fragrance, it's not gonna be unique to you, but it's definitely worth adding, I think, to your fragrance collection. As I said, you can't go wrong with it. Fragrance number two is Paco Rabanne One Million Lucky another one of my favorite fragrances right now. This was launched around two months ago to replace the very successful Paco Rabanne One Million. I think this was the best selling fragrance for around 10 years, which really shows kind of how popular uh, One Million was. And now obviously it's been relaunched as One Million Lucky. It's got a very woody base with some grapefruit and plum and it's just a very fresh scent. We all wanna get lucky in life, and I certainly wouldn't mind a million pounds. I'm sure you would all say the same. And I feel like this fragrance makes me feel that way. It makes me wanna seize my dreams. Now, I know that might seem silly to all of you, but I feel like when I spray a fragrance, I like to see how it makes me feel, and I feel like if you close your eyes, it will give you that feeling, and I think, Paco Rabanne 1 Million Lucky makes me feel like I'm lucky and I'm ready to kind of get my head in the game. So yeah, I guess that's why it's made it into my top five. Fragrance number three is something a little bit different. It's John Vavartas, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's called Artisan Pure. Now, I was introduced to this fragrance about, it was about the start of summer actually. I was in a meeting and again, I could smell this scent and I had to find out what it was. And it was actually the person who I was in a meeting with. I never ever heard of John Vavatos before. And I think that's what I like. I like when I discover a fragrance that you don't typically see every day on the shelves when you walk through a department store or when you're going through duty free at the airport. It's not a very commercial fragrance, even though John Vavatos actually has so many successful colognes in his collection, I just personally have not heard of him myself. But now I am certainly hooked. It literally, I'd probably say out of all five of these fragrances that I'm gonna show you, this one fits some up the best, in my opinion. Now I know this might sound silly. Again, as I said, when I smell a scent, I like to see where it takes me. And I feel like with the bottle and when I smell this one, I literally feel like I'm on a beach, the waves crashing, the sun shining, and yeah, back in the room, Carl. See, I get carried away, it takes me away. But yeah, I really feel like the scent just fits summer perfectly with the waves crashing, the beach, the sun shining. What better feeling could you have from a scent for summer? So yeah, definitely worth checking out. Uh, this fragrance. So my fourth selected fragrance is Jo Malone Orange Bitters. If you've never been to a Jo Malone store before, you are missing out. It's like being 10 years old walking into a candy store. If you're really into finding your own unique scent and you wanna find something that fits you perfectly, you need to go to a Jo Malone store. They have a cologne for everyone, for any time of the day, literally you will find your perfect cologne there. And they're very unique as well. They play around with flavors and different kind of flowers. And yeah, it, literally if you go in there, it's like an experience. It's not just walking in, grabbing something off a shelf. You will have an experience walking in a Jo Malone store. Orange Bitters is a very sweet smell. To be honest, it's quite daring 
how sweet it is. I don't think it's going to be a clone for everyone. Whereas me personally, I do like something very strong and very lasting and very sweet. Um, it definitely captures the attention of people around me, but it's not going to be for everyone because it is so strong. I would recommend you going into the store, as I said, finding out which one suits you best. This one personally, for me, makes me feel very summery. And finally, my fifth favourite fragrance for summer is Creed Aventus. Now, if you've never heard of this fragrance before, again, you are strongly missing out. Around five years ago now, I used to work for a PR company and I actually used to look after the brand Creed. I had never heard of them before kind of moving to my new job. And when the cupboard opened and they said, we look after this brand Creed, pick whatever you want, I smelled Aventus and honestly, it is such, I, don't, I wouldn't even say unique, it's such an incredible smell. It's the most captivating scent I think I've ever wore. I actually gave one to my dad and he is his favourite fragrance now in his collection as well and it's definitely one for the single boys because I'm telling you now if I ever wear Creed Aventus out on a night out the girls come running. Every girl wants to know what you are wearing. I don't know what it is about it. It's such a sexual smell. Honestly you need to go out and spray it. You will pull on a night out. If you're going on a date wear Creed Aventus. It goes down so well. Um, my mum actually loves to hate it because whenever my dad wears it, my dad gets women come up to him in Costa Coffee, in Starbucks, asking him personally what fragrance he is wearing. So I think when a fragrance can do that for you, it can make people daring to come over to ask what you're wearing. It gets the big thumbs up and tick from me. Now Creed is definitely more on the luxury side. It's probably something you need to ask Santa for at Christmas unless you've got money growing off of trees, which I certainly don't have myself. So it's more of a, what you call it, a luxury. It's more of something I ask for for birthdays or Christmas. Uh, rather than just nipping out to pick some up because I've run out of my everyday fragrance. It's something that I use for best because it is a little bit more on the pricey side. So to smell like a Greek god and to go out on the pool and get the girls can flock in, unfortunately it does come a bit of a price. So there's my top five fragrances that I've been using over summer 2018. I want you guys now to comment your top five in the comments box below, just so I can see if any of ours match up or to see if there's any new ones that you use and I need to go out and try them myself. But I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's already subscribed to my channel. We're now nearly at 30,000 and I couldn't thank you enough. I never knew or thought that my YouTube would grow. Um, so yeah, I'm so, so grateful for everyone that watches my videos. And if you did enjoy this video, please do give me the thumbs up. And if you are a new person on my channel, please don't forget to go and subscribe. And I'll be seeing you very shortly on my next video. Take care, guys. See you then.